Hi Kindergarten and welcome to Wednesday's computer class. Um, for those that have been coming and doing the work and checking out computer class each week, that is wonderful and I really appreciate it. Um, this week we're going to look at a website that we actually saw before back towards the beginning of the year, uh, but we're going to look at some different things about it that we didn't check out before. That website is called KinderWeb. Now there's a link in the page for today to get to KinderWeb. And I like to show you that in computer class, when we have it in years where we come into the school and come into computer class, I show how to get to most things from that website I've mentioned a lot of times before and kids get used to very quickly and get to know very quickly called Porta Portal. Um, I'm on the Weymouth Township School homepage and as I scroll down and to the left, there is the Porta Portal link. Um, once that is pulled up, everything for my class, Computers and Technology, is in the center box right here that says Computers and Technology, and everything is in alphabetical order. So the first letter of things, we have some A's, C's, D's, E, F, and we're looking for ones that begin with K. So right here, K, KinderWeb, and it has a happy face by it. So I'm going to give KinderWeb a click. And once I get here, you might recognize and recognize the music and the looks of this site from before. I'm actually going to turn my volume down so that's not too distracting because I remember that from the video earlier in the year, in the beginning of this year, about KinderWeb. Now, if you did it with me back in September, we took a look at this site and we tried the animal match game and we tried the color game. Okay, so for today, uh, what I would like you to do, and I'm trying to keep this video very short so that you can try it, is the numbers game and the letters game. Those two are right next to each other right here. Letters game, and it shows some letters in the icon with a book. And the numbers game shows some numbers in the icon. Those are the two that I would like you to do. I'll give you a very, very quick demonstration of them in a second. You can try, and if you have extra time, any other ones you want. But I will tell you, the time-telling game... If you don't know how to tell time on a uh, regular or analog clock yet, that could be really challenging. The coin addition game, subtraction game, those, they probably would be okay, a uh, currency value game, they would probably be okay when you're in first grade, maybe second grade. But uh, you could try some others like addition, shape game, the animal game. Um, I have had some kids in kindergarten that were able to do okay with the greater than less than game once they learned that in their kindergarten class. But these two right here are the ones that I would really like you to try. Uh, the letters game, where you click on it, and when we go to the letters game, we have to see where it says which letter is K. And then we click on the K. Now, we could read that, or if you didn't, you could have your headphones on and your volume up and... It says to you, which letter is K, right? Or clicking this play button again, we'll get that. You click on the right one, and then click to try a new one. Which letter is O? And if you click on an incorrect one, right, you just click to try which that same one again. And once you get finished doing some practice on that for about five minutes or so, use your back button. And same thing with the numbers game, where it works really the same exact way as the letters game. Turn my sound back down. Um, and this site's really cool because it will speak to you and, and tell you the answers, if, or the uh, questions rather, out loud if you need it to. All right, so that's what I would like everybody to take a little bit of time and try out for today. Now, don't forget, and I've mentioned this before, that if you wind up doing the things for computer class and you have some extra time, or if you happen to be on a computer and have some extra time, there are so many other things in that Porta Portal that are really fun, that you can go back to, that you can do anytime. Uh, things on the site ABC, kids lot, like a lot. Dance mat typing. Um, the other ones down here with the happy faces that we've tried before. Uh, the keyboard keys, Kinderweb, Room Recess, and a couple others are really fun. Google Santa Tracker is right there. Google Quick Draw that we looked at last week. And you could go back and try those anytime if you had more time or um, were able to use the computer a little bit more. I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I will see you next time.